Hi and welcome back to my channel Machine Learning with me. If you're new to the channel or not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Today we'll try to do logistic regression in Python. But before going, we are going to understand what is logistic regression, the math behind it, and when to use it. What is logistic regression? Logistic regression is a machine learning model. It estimates the probability of an event occurring, such as binary or multi-classification based on a given data set of independent variables. Since the outcome is a probability, the dependent variable is bounded between 0 and 1. To understand the logistic regression in simpler terms, we'll try to first understand what is binary and multi-classification. Uh, for the binary classification, our target variable has just two classes, that is 0 and 1. Now, in the multi-classification, we have more than two classes, right? In the Y, we do have 1, 2, and 3, and we can have many more classes. So, in using logistic regression, we'll try to predict whether the X is in which class of Y, whether it's 0 or 1. Uh, similarly, we'll do the same thing in the multi-classification. But here, we'll, we are trying to see what is the probability of x to be in the y using logistic regression. So that's the reason the probability is always 0 and 1. So the variable is bounded between 0 and 1. Now for the better understanding, we'll try to compare logistic regression with linear regression. Here on the x-axis, we can see person's age and on y-axis whether or not the person has insurance or not. So 0 says he doesn't have any insurance covered or 1 says he does have insurance covered. Using linear regression we clearly see that the line doesn't uh, cover all the points on the graph but whereas logistic regression does cover almost all the points. So you can you can all the, you can also have a small question where you can say why don't why don't we use a polynomial regression? Well, because the data will not have any kind of linear relationship, uh, the, we can't weigh the coefficients because it doesn't have any linear relationship. Because uh, the the target variable is in terms of classes, so instead of polynomial regression we are going to use logistic re regression. Remember, whenever a target variable uh, has the classes in it, uh, then we are going for logistic regression instead of any other regression model. So let's see the math behind logistic regression. How is it different, uh, how is it different with the linear regression? So here you can see a straight line equation, right? But what if uh, we are trying to uh, uh, predict the probability of it in the logistic regression. So we are going to take the straight line and s substitute here in uh, in the place of z. And we are, this is a log function, or we can say it's a sigmoid function. And we are we are trying to check what is the outcome, what is the probability. If it is greater than zero point five, then it's one. If it is below zero point five, then it is zero. That's how we are going to use logistic regression. Now let's perform logistic regression in Python. Now let's try doing logistic regression in Python. Here I'm using uh, an insurance data set which I created. I'll explain you how I did that. So let's start. I have imported, first we need to import all the required Python packages uh, such as NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. Scikit-learn, it's a machine learning library uh, where we are going to call logistic regression from it. And then uh, I have taken age and in the age, uh, I have created a list of 2200. So all my uh, insurance, my customers lies between uh, their ages are between 20 and 100. So if the customer ages below 50, then he is not going to have insurance. If the customer is above 50, then he is definitely going to have insurance. So I have taken the binary classification as zero and one, not insured, insured. Okay. Now I'm going to read the data frame uh, using pd.pandas.dataframe. Uh, and this is how my data looks, 
right it's really a, a very a small data to uh, to keep it simple for better understanding i'm just using a small data in real life scenarios you need to uh, you know the data is too huge and there is no chance that your model is going to uh, be accurate so here i have taken age into x and then a target variable insert into y then let's look at how the uh, data is distributed on the scatter plot here you can see for all the ages the target variable lies between uh, the target variable is whether it's zero or it's one it's not in between right so let's use logistic regression i'm going to call my logistic regression from linear model which is an sklearn and then i'm going to fit my data that is x and y and then i'm going to predict x so here are my predicted variables now let's see uh, how uh, how it looks on the scatter plot so here clearly you can see there is it's a sigmoid function which covers all the points now this is overfitting right it's not good it is overfitting due to i didn't split my data set into train and test that's one factor and the second factor is my data set is too uh, it's too small so these are the main reasons for overfitting uh, just to make it simple i am using the smaller data set but when you are using a big uh, data set uh, definitely your graph is not going to look like this so in order to see how well our logistic regression has performed uh, when it comes to linear we did use r square but for logistic regression we are not going to use r square we can't use r square but instead we can use uh, we can call score function and see the score now the score function lies between 0 and 1 now it's overfitting and it's clearly mimicking our data complete data so definitely the uh, score would be 1 but in the real life scenario uh, for the real data sets you will not you will not be getting one a score as one right so in the next class we are going to discuss what is decision tree and how to perform decision tree in the python for the more content please do subscribe the channel like and share